Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're tuning into the philosophy expand and build upon your creativity, imagination, and innovation. Everything is created twice. First in the mind, then it becomes reality. Wherever the mind of man can conceive and believe it can achieve. So you go out there day after day to do the work. The confidence to put yourself out there boldly, authentically, even though the success, the creation has not arrived just yet, but you know that the richest place on earth, the real, richest real estate on earth is the graveyard where dreams and goals and everything else die along with you because you did not have the courage or the beingness to make it happen. But that's all going to change because instead of waiting for things to happen, you go out to make things happen. You be becoming the do. No, you're being the do, then you go out to have. This is the method, the philosophy known as create like a god this is your man jaren mitchell aka jaren winning mitchell because i believe i am a winner and you are a winner as well you just have to have that winning mindset that winning mindset okay we're gonna do an episode of the 13 winning definitions called the one of the favorites my favorite book of 2021 today another top today is another remix episode okay another remix episode if you're watching this on my youtube channel make sure you give your mans the hbo special you know what the hbo special is do you know what the hbo special is it is help a brother out okay help a brother out subscribe like this video leave a comment below and subscribe man help a brother out subscribe the goal is to get a hundred thousand i'm the goal to get a hundred thousand by the end of 2022 okay the end of 22 the goal is to get a hundred thousand it's a big goal big goal who knows may get it may not get it but hey if i miss i'll still land amongst the stars okay another thing if you listen to us on the podcast feed the rss feed make sure you go ahead subscribe to the podcast follow this podcast whatever you're from specifically apple itunes um since anchor now which i use my platform or my podcast through anchor that's that's doing everything okay go to download spotify hop on spotify and there should be some questions there specifically through spotify because how anchor has it since spotify bought out anchor and i'll also think you can go ahead and message me through the anchor app send me a voice memo as well that's anchor.fm4 slash jaren Mitchell, but also leave a five star rating in review so that way it can boost up in the podcast fees, like on like on um Apple Podcasting and stuff like that. You know, it doesn't matter. Give me give, give me if you if you think it'll be something improvement, you can give me a four star, whatever it is. Give give your man some constructive criticism so that way we can learn how to improve improve the podcast, man. Go ahead and improve it, man. Make sure you give me some constructive criticism, some good criticism that able to improve it somehow. If not, that's okay. We can get my audience. We can go ahead. We the right people that wants to make it better that listen to the podcast every single day. But let's go ahead and do that. So that way other people can get this create like a God content, this create like a God philosophy. And as you can see, whoever you've been, if you started listening to my cop podcast before, this is a remix. The topic today I'm going to be talking about is you become what you think about. You become what you think about you may think hey jaren you did this already jaren you need to get on new ideas look honestly i have not listened i had i could have spent time listening to other podcasts my old episodes make sure this is all new i haven't done that okay i really haven't done that because i am much in a better place i am today than i was in 2019 when i first started it i'm a lot better i've been reading some books consuming some books so that stuff i'm still gonna read consume my own content which they say eat your own dog food okay i will be listening to my own stuff that stuff I will be listening to so that way I can replace the stuff and learn how to make it better. But the reason why I'm doing this remix is because the remix is for the YouTube. Okay, it's for the YouTube. So make sure you go, go ahead and subscribe to YouTube because I want to put this content out there, little clips, snippets on my Instagram, all my other social media platforms, okay? But anyways, you don't want to listen to it, this podcast, this episode again. It's like, oh, it's okay, man. Hey, it's fine with you. But you become what you're thinking about. When I first heard of this, it came from, the Strangest Secrets by Earn Nightingale. You become what you think about. Could have been thinking go rich, but the main thing that really stands out to me was you become what you think about. And that's a quote from Buddha, actually. Okay, we talked about it one of the remix, which is um, how to be original. Okay, I think it was one of those episodes or something like that. So how to be original and everything. But this is you become what you think about. Okay, the dominating thoughts. I don't believe I said this on my, I don't, I don't think I actually said this. The dominating thoughts of your mind, okay, you, you got to take control, take full possession of your own mind. Take it. And I made this decision. I made this decision long ago. And I've been, you know, there's been some ups and downs and everything like that. I made it probably in 2020, actually. No, 2018. No, 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 not 2018. Uh, 2018. Yeah, no, 
Yeah, it could have been actually could have been 2020, actually. 2019, late 2020, uh, late well, late 2019 and all that. Get more into Napoleon Hill's work, listen to more Napoleon Hill's work, thinking go rich multiple times, the law of success, the science, um, the 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 uh, master keys to riches, outwitting the devil. Okay, there's a book kind of like Napoleon around Napoleon stuff, the pause, the power of um Po, um, positive mental attitude which is one of the 12 steps to, the 12 steps towards riches i'm talking wrong and saying my stuff everything like that so you become what you think about the dominating thoughts of your mind we think about if i correct i remember saying this in the past because i was listening to J- dr doja dr dr joe dispenza at that time we think about 12 to 60 or eight thousand thoughts per day 80 percent of those thoughts we think are negative okay most of the time are negative okay you got more of COVID going on. You got COVID-19 and all that going on. You got the news pumping this bullshit ass content about getting the vaccine, getting all this shit seven days, seven, uh, 24, um, 24, seven, seven days a week. Okay. The last, what, two years, almost two years now, by the time I'm recording this, it's um late January. You'll be getting this maybe sometime in February, depending on what date you, you're listening this to, but they pumping this shit out, man. They just pumping it out. You got to take full possession of your own mind. If you don't, somebody else will. The news will do it. And guess what? They're, they, they, they do, they're using the law of suggestion on you, okay? You got to brain, brainwash yourself. You listen to this podcast. You listen to personal growth. Or you listen to stuff like that. Brain, man, like, take control of what you want to put into your mind. You got some, yeah, take control of it. If you got something like, like you know, I know the world ain't shining shine and rainbows and shit, but here's the thing. You can control what book you want to read. You can show which content you want to watch. Okay. You could do all that. You told you guys totally can, man. You know, all them books I decide to get. You know, some of these people don't like oh personal development space, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Hey man, I'm looking to be the best version of myself. I'm looking to be the better me because no one's not going to be me. You know, the decisions and choices is going to make up our life, but we become what we think about. The more the things we think about become the dominating forces over our mind will manifest into becoming to reality. We think about it over and over and over again, goes to our subconscious mind. Now it's, guess what? It's automatic thought. We do it secondarily and becomes, we're not aware of it and certain things we're not aware of. That's why we got to constantly, constantly work on yourself, constantly better yourself, constantly surround yourself with good people. So that way you can be aware, you can have some awareness. You got some consciousness on it. Okay, I got this problem, this problem, that problem. I can work at it. Okay, it took, it takes the actions to work at it. Okay, this is why I do not believe in toxic masculinity. Okay, we become what we think about. The dominant thoughts of our mind, the more poison we feed into our mind, which is nightshade, the deadly poison, the more we feed that into our mind, the more it becomes the dominating purpose of our mind and we keep controlling it. We keep, we keep attracting certain things that to our lives. Okay, we're going to get to that point. That's one of the points before I get into it. Um, and yeah, that, I'm going to get to point number one pretty soon. I got some other stuff I got to say, but I got to say this. Some of the stuff I repeated some episodes already, but I'm repeating it again. Okay, the dominate thoughts of our mind sink into our minds. It comes to the subconscious mind, then we become that. It's autopilot. It comes autopilot. Then you want to plant what you want to be autopilot. Okay, you know how you think about when you go to when you work for a job, you're not good at it. You don't want to get it, but you in it. You in it. You're not comfortable. You're not in it. And then all of a sudden, you start getting comfortable. You start doing it. You don't even think about it. Oh, it's comfortable with you. You broke out your comfort zone. But also, you got to think about what your thoughts. Use the law of auto suggestion. Use also use the law of the mastermind and suggestion, okay, from other people around you. Okay, you we don't need this COVID bullshit. You know, we don't need this this you know um ma- ma- man mass date stuff. If somebody want to get the vaccine, let them get the vaccine. If somebody don't want to get the vaccine, don't get the vaccine, man. It, it's, it's, it's choice as American. This is what make America beautiful. Make America um, that's great. OK, but we become what we think about. This whole purpose is me taking t- telling you to take full possession of your own mind and think for yourself. And I'm going to sh- and I'm going to give some maybe some guidance, some quotes, you know, some, st- some stuff you can some stuff I read off of, of the past. And you may understand at the time. Also, remember looking at point number one, you may think, OK, why? Why? You, this, this point may be ridiculous. OK, right now, you know, we become what we think about as someone thinks within himself. So is he. That's in the Bible. Same thing, different type of wording, but it's the same thing, okay? That's in Proverbs 20, um, 23, 7, okay? I mentioned this before, you know, in the last, in re- other remix episode, okay? A man literally, a man is literally what he thinks, his character being, 
complete sum of all his thoughts. Okay, you can control your thoughts. You can control your thoughts. You could set what you want in subconscious mind. Okay, control what you can control. Okay, some of the COVID stuff, yeah, maybe some of you may disagree with you. Maybe some of this will be back. I don't know what, you know, this might be YouTube on YouTube or any other stuff. YouTube may, I don't know, maybe shut me down from saying this, may say some stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm a small guy. I'm 78. I got 78 um, subscribers at the time that I'm recording this. 78 right now. I don't have 100. I don't have 1,000. I don't have 10,000. I don't have a half a million or a million yet. You remember when I said that yet? You know, Dominate thoughts of my mind. Our words speak things to existence. Okay, words do hurt. Words can speak things to existence. Words can bring somebody up. And the Bible also says cursing. Okay, curse is not what I'm saying when I say fuck shit, all this other stuff. You know, some of you may be offended by that. The words when I'm saying were curse within the Bible, I can't remember exactly what the verse says. It was talking about how we talk to people. How we talk to people. And that's going to be another episode I'm going to be talking about, okay? I'm getting, gathering some stuff up, but I'm doing these remixes getting these remixes in so for the YouTube channel. Because so I made the decision, you know what, we're going to get this on the YouTube channel, this content. This content I'm going to put out, we get on to the YouTube channel. I may not be able to record old stuff and put it back on here and, and, and try to go word for word, but that's fine. I don't need to go word for word. Okay? So let's go ahead and get to point number one, which today's topic, which is you become what you think about. Point number one, the law of attraction traits. States, like attracts light. Okay, before a law of attraction, we talked about it in some of the um, previous episodes, me coming back. Uh, if you got anything with February 1st and on, depending on how the orderly, orderly, how I do everything and everything like that. Before law of attraction, okay? Law of attraction also has action it. Go ahead, take action. Some people may say, think, hey, this is new age stuff. This ain't new, man. There's nothing new under the sun. Let's be honest. There's nothing new under the sun. It's in the Bible as well. If you look for it, it's in the, it's in the Bible. The law of karma, the law of a cause and effect. We're going to talk about this with this when I finish the book, the seven, seven spiritual laws of success. I'm going to talk about those seven spiritual laws. The law of karma is the same thing as the law of cause and effect and the law of weeping soul. They're all the same, same law, probably in different cultures, the way they're saying it, but it's the same law. The Bible is divine, it talks about divine law, it talks about divine, okay, universal, okay. That's why Bible got Bible got some of those wisdom. It has wisdom in it. I haven't read much of the Quran. I can't say much of the Quran, the Quran actually, I would say. Um, but here's the thing, man. It has wisdom in it. When you go into something, think, you know, like attracts light. When you go into something or before, actually, before I get into that, like attracts light. Before law of attraction, you must change your vibrational state, okay? Everything in the universe is made up of energy. Everything in the universe is vibrating at a certain frequency. Just like the radio. You know how you got to turn the radio, right? You got to turn the radio to make sure that, that you're on the right station, you the right, right frequency and everything like that. That's how the universe works. So for order you to become what you think about, you must change your vibrations. Vibration is also is thought. Okay, change your thought habits. Change your, change your thought patterns. Fire the old thoughts. Fire the thoughts that are not serving you. They're still going to come up. The bad thoughts still going to come up. They're still going to be there, but you're going to have you're going to have control over you. You're going to have control what you can do because you have certain tools, certain things. You listening to this podcast and everybody else that I bring along that we can give you. Dre has them. Okay, Grant has them. Many of these people that I talk about, Napoleon Hills and stuff has them. Okay, you just got to take action. You, we already have everything what we need. Okay, law of attraction state likes likes attract light, but law of vibration is vibrating at a certain frequency. Everything in the universe is moving, okay? The phone that you're using, all this stuff you're watching on YouTube, everything in this room is moving moving and vibrating at a certain frequency that we cannot see, okay? It's sound waves, you know, you let there be light, boom. That's law of vibration right there. That's how I look at it, okay? My, some of the stuff I talk about, hey, it could change over time, okay? We in 2022, there's so much we can learn. We can use our, um, our imagination, okay? Not I'm open, you know, I don't have to be like, so, uh, you know, on, onto it, you know, <laughs> like, like, oh no, this is this and that, you know, here's the thing. Use the law of attraction in your favor. If you do not believe it or not, you are attracting things that you, you are attracting things. Think about ants. You leave you certain places. If you live at homes and everything like that, you start leaving sugary stuff around the floor, around the kitchen. You're going to attract ants. It's going to attract ants. If you leave certain foods out, whatever you're living in the middle of nowhere, it's going to attract animals. Because they can smell it. Bears, wolves, coyotes is attracting to them. Us as men, okay? Women are attracted. We look at a woman. Men are more visual. We look at a woman and their beauty is like, man, they're attracted. Okay, that's attracted to me. 
okay, they got me there. Well, I'm attracted to them, you know, because it's in our body as a man is in our biological structure and our nature and our biological natures. And when we see a woman, it, it, it ticks in something within our brain. Okay. That's something is our biological program. We cannot, that's something we cannot get rid of. We cannot define the laws of nature. If it goes against nature, we're, 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 we're not, we're, we're, the, we're going against nature. We're not working with nature. Okay. But we can use nature's laws for us. Okay. For us, not against us. We can also use against us before us. Law of attraction is one of nature's laws. Okay. Universal law, divine law. Okay. We can use that. We can use that for, we can use that for us, you know, law of hypnotic rhythm. Okay. Look that up and I'll win the devil. Okay. We can use that against, uh, get, uh, we can use that against us or for us. Okay. Some of the stuff I'm talking about is mainly use this, use this stuff. Even if you don't believe it, just don't, just try it out, man. Yeah. I don't believe this, but you know, people so, oh, law of attraction, law of attraction, very popular, but people don't know, understand the law of attraction. They really don't. You got to be the person. You got to be the person in order to attract who you want to be. So you got to be the person who you want to be thinking, who you want to think about, become what you think about. You become what you think about. The more things that you think, the things that you don't you think about, what you don't like, this and that, you probably will become the person that is like that because you focus on what you create. Okay. Before law of attraction is the law of vibration. Everything in the universe is moving at a certain frequency. So if you want to communicate with God or what Napoleon Hill talks about the other selves and everything like that with God, change our vibration change our vibration where we can earlier communicate to our higher power, not keeping us at a low vibration, okay? <clears throat> so that's what the law of attraction state, like attracts like. Become the person who you want, become the person and become the person who you want other people to attract. When you become the person that you attract others, you will attract other people that will be, a, don't, that really necessary that you don't want to be around, but that's when you got to vent and, and vent, vent out the people you don't want in your circle. Or you don't want around as close friends and all that. You, you, who you want to lead around in your circle, who you want to work with, who you want to be around. If you have a specific audience, specific person you want to talk to, like I, you, you, many pretty soon I will get that. More stuff I talk about this, what I go, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, it's gonna happen. Build a certain audience where I'm able to attract certain type of people that want to work with me, and it's gonna be people that's gonna be propelled by me. Like, no, I don't want to work with him. No, nah, he talking about this crazy like a god stuff. I don't know, I don't know, I don't, we don't want to create like God. I don't create like a human. Okay, I, I don't believe in that. Why you got to say God? I remember this story. Okay, I had this woman in the car with me in the beginning of New Year's, okay, in 2022. This woman was like, why, why you have to say create like God? Why are you using God's name? Here's the thing. God has many names. I am is God. Okay, I am. I think of the from the burning bush. He said, I am what I am. I don't remember exactly. Somebody pull it up. Somebody send it to me. Okay, I am. When we say I am, something powerful, magical happens. I am. I am powerful. I am confident. I am a visionary. I am a... I am authentic. Okay, use I am. I am. You, you, that's the affirmation. You can use the law of auto suggestion into that for like 10 minutes. I am and just keep repeating in your head. I am, I am, I am, I am. And your thoughts will end up matching your actions. And that's where it's going to happen when you're able to go. Everything has to match. The mind, body, and soul. Everything has to match. Okay, your mind, your soul, and your body. You, you, you're, you're, you're saying it in your mind and now, you gotta, now your body got to move into action where actually, actually it, it, it aligns, you know? So we become what we think about. The law of attraction is something we can use, but there's many laws. It's also in the Bible, okay? You may, you may not think, oh, it's not in the Bible. It's, not, it, it's in the Bible. This is a scientific term, the law of attraction. There's nothing new, man. There's really nothing new. The law of attraction from I know, I, I, maybe I look up the origin where the law of attraction comes from, but I know in 1927 with Napoleon Hill for his book, the law of success has the law of attraction in it. Okay, nature's laws, we cannot, we cannot disrupt anything with nature's law. It is what it is with nature's law. Let me just go ahead and get to point number two, which today's topic, which is you become what you think about. Point number two, let's talk about one of the infutable laws of leadership by James, um, um, 21 Infutable Laws of Leadership by, um, by Maxwell, John C. Maxwell, I'm about to say James, John C. Maxwell, which is the law of magnetism, okay, um, infutable laws of leadership, um, them, and um, infutable laws of leadership, them and people will follow you, okay, so what is this, okay, what is, what, let me, let me state this, okay, let me look through my notes, what I have right here, okay, so law of magnetism, who you are is who you attract, Okay, if whoever you are at this current moment, change your state of being. 
being okay we're human beings not just you're not you're not human doing we human beings first you got to be then you do then you have okay so wh whoever you want to attract become the person who you want to attract if you want a wife okay you know i'm, I'm studying some stuff with you know what was going on me uh, with, um, with with wives and stuff like that that's a later episode and everything like that fresh and fit rational mail by Ro um uh, rollo tomasi and <clears throat> everything like that that's another day besides that but if you want a wife okay because we're it doesn't matter if you don't want to be hey here's the thing that's what i say before i go into that as a man it doesn't matter you get you want what you want if you want want to get married get married if you don't want to get married don't get married if you don't just don't okay it's your life it's your life to live okay that's what i want to say i'm not saying i'm not going to bag nobody say oh, why you don't want to get married this and that if you don't want to get married don't get married it's your life you're here to create the life you want because you become what you think about become okay let me go right here if you want a wife Okay, what type of man do you need to be attract, become the attraction of the wife and able to keep that wife so she won't divorce you? You got to vent through those people. You got to make sure and you will, you will find it. You will find the person who you want to, be, who want to marry and everything like that or who you want to do business with. Maybe some, some stuff happened. You're not doing it again, but you learn your lessons. But you got to be a diff in a different state of being. Okay, who you are is who you attract. Especially, and not even that, if you're winning, if you're doing good things, doing big things for yourself, you get all types of attractions. All people try to get, get in you and may, may try to take advantage of you. But you know what? You vented, you got standards, you got something you got to do, even though if people get mad, upset with you, hey, it is, hey, man, this is, this is just around me. I, I, I'm protecting myself. You have a right to protect yourself, okay? But you are, you, uh, you are who, you, who you attract. Whoever you are at this current moment, whoever your friends are, and you're attracting everything like that, change your vibration, change your circle of friends, get some support. Don't be a lone wolf. Okay. You, uh, who you are is who you attract. If you investing, you know, I got some of this stuff, you know, I got some friends that drop off. I got a, I have a betrayal going on, which, you know, five years I dealt with my fault, take full responsibility. Actually, I won't even say my fault. I take full responsibility and ownership. Okay, I take full responsibility and ownership. Take full responsibility and ownership, whatever happens. Don't put the blame. Just so you know what this person is in. Okay, I screwed up. I made this mistake. I made this mistake, but you know what? I make sure it never happens, but I take full responsibility what's going on right here. What's going on with my current life that I can change right now. You are who you attract. Change your state of being. Change who you are. Not, not, not only saying change who you are, but change your state of being. Okay. You got to become like, you got to become the person you want to be like, for instance, get over here, give it, give it about a year, probably less than a year, six months, anything can happen. Okay. I'm changing who I am, giving you guys this content every single damn day. Okay. Not when I was in 2019, I was doing that. I was in a rush, all this stuff, all this, I mean, a lot of stuff was happening where I had plans and everything and derailed them, but it's a little different now. Okay. It's a little different. That's in the past. I don't need to be playing bad movies. Okay. That's all in the past. Same with you. That's all in the past. Okay. Attract who you are. Give it the next couple months. Give you whatever you are. If you're an artist, okay, let me create some work so I can track being a certain people who I want. And also who your customers you want to be, who you want to work with. Okay, track who you want to be. That's more like an avatar type thing. Um, who you attract, who you are is, is who you attract. Okay, second thing is with this. You attract people who you, who has um, possessed the same um, qualities in you. you. You attract the same person who, who possesses the same qualities in you. The same qualities, you know, you got like attract. This is the whole thing with law of attraction. Like attracts like. You may say, I don't believe in law of attraction. This is law, law of attractions right now. If I, if I give you a group, we talked about COVID and everything a little earlier today. If I go say, hey, yeah, I'm anti-vax, right? All the people from anti-vax, they're going like, to like me because I'm anti-vax, okay? If I'm not anti-vax or I'm, I'm, I'm super pro-vax, okay, pro-jab, Everybody on the pro jab going to be cheering for me. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to probably be tracking those because I'm talking about it every single on the internet. For me, it's like, hey, man, if you want to get the – go ahead and get it. It's not your, it's Amer your American right as a human being in America. Okay? That, that is, that's me. That, that, that's just how, what I believe in. Okay? So I, I'm going to end up getting those people who I'm attracted by with that too. That's the thing, man. Like, like the stuff we talk about. There's a lot of things I can talk about this podcast, man, racism. Okay, we, I believe we're the only human being. Hum, there's only one race, which is human beings. Humans. That's the only race. We use all this skin color, all this stuff to drive hate against us. We need to stop that as human beings, as humans. Okay, we need, that's something that we need to solve and stop. Right now in America, there's a whole bunch of skin color stuff. And I got a whole bunch of stuff about the, with, with the black community, BLM, and everything like that. 
I'm not with BLM. Actually, let me say this right now. I'm not with BLM. I'm not. I don't like BLM. I don't like the organization. They just they con a lot of people. They they more promoting victimhood. I'm not here to promote victimhood. Okay, there's many a billion million of, of African Americans, men's and everything like that. That's go, that's putting themselves in the making them creating themselves out of their life, creating something to put themselves in a better position in their life. Okay, and, and this is going to happen when you start as a black me. I, I, I'm, I'm I have a black, I'm, my, my dad is um, American. Okay. He's well, he's black, but he's American. Okay. Black African-American or American. You could say it doesn't matter. Technically we all Americans, but being black. Okay. I could say certain things in, the, in certain communities in the black community or certain other, they won't like me. Cause I, what I'm saying, what I'm talking about, they will not like me, you know, cool. That, but the whole point of me, uh, me saying this and giving you guys in this example is, is that the quality of people, some that you possess, you will you um the same qualities you attract, but that's the qualities. But certain things that you talk about as well, you will attract those certain type of people, and you also will attract the people that's propelled by it, are willing to criticize you, willing to talk shit about you, willing to put you on blast, willing to say a whole bunch of bad things about you. And guess what? You are the one that's putting. You, they don't want. They don't want this in your mind. You're not sitting in their mind because hey, I'm I'm cool, man. I love what I'm doing. You know, I love what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, or I believe what I'm doing. Okay. I mean, it happens with Gary Vee. It happens with Grant Cardone. It happened with Ty Lopez. You know, people was talking about his stuff. I, I could actually propose with Ty Lopez, man. I thought Ty, po- um, I'm in his programs and everything now, but I thought Ty P- uh, Lopez at the time, I didn't know, uh, was full of shit. I really, I really thought he was full of shit. Watching his stuff, thought he was bullshitting. You know, went down, my life picked up. He mentioned, uh, my cousin talked about Think and Grow Rich. I had to, took a class on Business 101 at um, Enlo Valley Community College, talked about Think and Grow Rich. And I went to a time in my life, like, I need to change, you know, nothing's going right, got a degree, don't have a job, got a car, nothing's going, don't have, you know, all this stuff, what, what, what I'm doing wrong, what am I doing wrong, giving up, stop, give up, because parents and all this stuff talking and, and, and not thinking for myself, not having this independent thought, this start going to this stuff, because he's, he was on my mind, because he kept, you know, independent, you know, um, you know, what's uh, like about more than material things, knowledge, okay, and I picked up thinking go rich and the power of self-discipline changed my life. And I knew Ty Lopez wasn't full of shit. I was full of shit. <laughs> I was full of shit. Not I am the shit, but I was, I was, I was giving up on certain things. Okay. But you're going to attract the quality. I wasn't propelled by him. You know, certain happens in my life. I, he was in my head. Boom. There we go. Ty Lopez. I still got his programs. I still recently, I've been more with the crypto stuff, watching more of the crypto stuff which he's pretty much going to launch his own NFTs and stuff. So I'm keeping my eyes on that at this current moment. And um, the quality, certain quality. So if you like, you know, I'm personal development, working for yourself, like-minded individual, anime, you know, drawings, animes, games and stuff like that. Bringing all that together, I will end up attracting some of the qualities and even some qualities about myself will attract these people. Okay, let's get to the next one. Who are you? Who, wait, who you are is who you attract. If you want better people, become the kind of person you desire to attract. I talked about this. I talked about this. What type of friends do you want to be? What time you want you want around you? But what type of friend do you need to be? Who you need to become, not need to be, who you had to become. Or who you need to be, who you being. Okay? Be, do, have, being. Be becoming that person. Make the decision now to become that person. You know what? No, man, I don't. I'm gonna be this person that's dedicated, that's motivated, who is dependable, and I'm gonna be. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna be that type of person people can rely on. Boom. Go ahead and do it. Be that person. Who, what type of steps does this person need to become? Who? What, what this person will look like? You know, another thing would be like, what would Jesus do? Some people use that. What would Jesus do? What did Jesus do? Look up the stuff. What did he do? What's what state of being? What he doing? What he was in? Okay. What state of money is? What state is Grant being? What state is Dre? All these people that you think about that you admire, that you like, <laughs> ooh, excuse me, man, hiccups, bro, that you admire. Like, dang, I like to be like that. I look at Grant, confidence, uh, uh, charisma. Um, was it? Um, optimism, certain things, okay? Certain traits, certain, um, certain things. And, and who, you, well, who you are is who you attract. Who you are now is who you're going to attract, but you can change your state of being so you become the person, who, the people who you want to attract. And by doing, then when you become that person and go ahead and do things that, and that, who that person that becomes right now, a person that records every single day on his podcast. Okay. Discipline. 
going to be looking for to be disciplined, looking to be consistent, being consistency. Consistency is key to creation. Okay, I'm looking to build something financial out of myself. I hear you guys give you free content, give, 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 man, give you some stuff, give you my knowledge, give you some stuff where maybe some of my, maybe you, you were propelled by somebody else, but you get to my stuff, but you like me. You like some of my content. You want to listen to my content. You like what I talk about. You like when I'm speaking. You like how the way I'm talking is like, dang, this man can talk. Dang, I like the way he speaks. Dang, it's like, man, I want to, I want to be like this person. You know, it's something I can, I, I, there's something about this person that I, that's, that's drawn to me because it's something that who you are that attracts. And here's the thing. Once you start changing your state of being, you start doing other things, the people who used to hang around with, used to hang around with, the people who used to be around are going to drop off like flies because they're not liking what you're doing. Okay, if, you, if you're around, say for instance, if you're a drug, if you're around smoking all day, you know, around friends smoking all day, right? Go ahead, you smoking, you smoking, everything like that. All of a sudden, it's like, Okay, I'm not doing it anymore. All your friends start talking shit. They'll talk behind your back, everything like that. Start saying stuff, start dropping off like flies. They don't want to respond to your call. They don't want to do none of that. And all, all the stuff, they get tired of what you're talking about. Because you're stating your head and being is repelling you. Okay? Build, when you have principles and standards for yourself, watching people drop off, stuff, drop off like uh, flies. Okay? Another thing with the law of magnetism. Okay? If you think the people you attract could be better, then it's time for you to improve yourself. You got to surround yourself and you think you can attract, you can, you can, you, you think your people, let me see, you think, if you think the people you are, let me go, actually, let me get through this list. If you think that the people you are attracting could be better, then it is time to improve yourself. If you think your people are negative, you better check your attitude, okay? Who you get isn't determined by what you want. It's determined by what you are, who you are change your state of being. If you got a lot of negative friends, okay, check your own damn attitude. Have this positive mental attitude, which is one of the 12 riches in life. Okay, if you round, if you if you think you can attract people um, that could be better, it's time to improve improve yourself. Keep improving yourself. Keep in building yourself. Keep, and not even that, want to win, win other people. If other people don't want to improve with you, go with you, hey, that's fine. You don't have to do that, okay? And you do not, it is determined who now what you want is determined of, by what you are. If you're, if you're a scummy dude, you're going to be around scummy people. If, or if you end up being around scummy people, it may change your state of being and you become a scummy person. You come doing criminal stuff because you influence. You're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Okay, but here's the thing with the law of magnetism. That's what the law of magnetism is. The irrefutable laws of leadership. I believe, I don't remember what law or it could be a different book. If I remember, I remember writing this down and everything like that. Okay, change your state of being. Change who you are. If you want new group of people, change the way who you are. Because millionaire people don't think the same as billionaire people. Six figure, or what was it? Six figure people, or you could say thousand dollar people, or people who has a job don't think the same as an entrepreneur. Or someone, I want to say entrepreneur, say someone who works at a certain place, they don't think the same. Change your state of being. So that way you can use the law of magnetism in your favor and you can attract who the people you want. You have control over your own environment. Point number three, today's topic, which is you become, you are, uh, yeah, you become what you think about. Point number three, take control of all, uh, take control of your own thoughts. Okay, acknowledge your negative thoughts, acknowledge them, kill the ants. Okay, automatic negative thoughts, kill the ants. Okay, and replace them ants, them, them ants with positive, okay, positive thoughts positive mental attitude the way you being proactive you know lately uh, i'll say over the years you know it's like oh yeah this person talk you know if i keep talking about i'm broke i'm broke i'm broke you know the universe and everything the laws and everything is going to see me not being broke there's not abundance there's uh, there's no abundance there's scarcity and everything like that and that's something i just remember watching today it was a great reminder actually i got reminded of these things too man i got to reminded of it as well take control of your own thoughts be the one use the law of auto suggestion you know, to get into your subconscious mind and use that again, use that for you. The universe is rigged in your favor. Okay, you got to change your vibrations. Use the law of attraction. Use the law of vibration in your favor and use the law of attraction. So that way you can not just think about it, but you also got to take the necessary actions and also become the person who will become that person that you see yourself in the future and take control of your own thoughts, the negative thoughts. Take control, 
the negative thoughts will pop up every now and then. It's still going to pop up, okay? That's something you're going to have to deal with because we are our own worst enemy. We are our own, we are our own adversaries. We're our own accusers, okay? That's Satan, the definition of basically of that word, um, of that Greek word, Satan, okay? So with that, take control of it. Con put whatever thoughts in you, your dominant thoughts of your mind. In the morning, before you go, um, before um, when you wake up in the morning, before you go to sleep, use them, use them affirmation, use the law of all suggestion in your favor. It's psychology. Okay, you don't want suggestions and stuff when you wake up in the morning. You watch going on, watching, waking up, and you going straight on Facebook and you being used, being a slave by social media. And you so you using social media in your favor, so that and that that can serve you. So that way. You can use all that and you can build your subconscious mind. You can go to sleep on some stuff, listen to it, listen to this podcast like this, listen to audio books, books, read books, feed it, become, make sure whatever you want becomes the dominating force, the dominating thoughts of your mind. Okay. Cause um, when you also, when you fail, okay, it is whatever happens when you fail is an equal or greater benefit. Okay. It's only, it's not really failure, it's temporary defeat. Do not let defeat, temporary defeat overcome you. Keep it pushing, never give up. And there's a lesson to be learned because it took 10,000 ways it did not work for Thomas Edison to perfect their electric light bulb, okay? Point number four, today's side, which is you become what you think about, okay? Here's another point number four, which I mentioned earlier, fire your habits, okay? Point number four, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but in habit. This is what I'm talking about earlier. This is why I say I don't believe in toxic masculinity. It's all thoughts. It's all thoughts within the mind. If you plan on negative, you plant negative, negative thoughts for and, and fertilize the land with negative thoughts in your mind. You plant, you're a plant and reap the harvest of negative stuff, negative things. Okay, fire your old habits. Fire them. Use the law of suggestion, which I got that from Dre Ball and working your gang. Fire, fire them like your employees. Fire things that do not fire the stuff that does not serve you. And start building and start hiring those habits that serve you. Habits, changing your hab, uh, habits, which will take control of your own thought. What I'm saying is with point number four, which is you are what we repeatedly do in excellence, but it's not an act, but in habit by um, quote from Aristotle, is that the things that we think about every single day, that's also our thought pattern. Change our thought pattern. Change it where it's something else. I am amazing. I am beautiful. I am phenomenal. I am a visionary, authentic leader. You know, something like that. Make a contract for yourself. Make a contract, okay? I am, be in a state of being. I am confident. State of being. You know, poverty is a state of being. Poverty is a state of being. There's abundance. You don't want to be happiness, state of being. I can be, I choose to be happy today. You know, I choose to be happy. You know, maybe some things maybe upset me. We're human beings. It's going to happen. Give that in and take control of your, you know, get, get right back with your emotions. Be proactive about it, you know, and, and be proactive about it. But fire those habits that does not serve you. If you got some habits or thought patterns, you're saying I'm worthless, I'm pathetic. Don't say that. Don't say that I am after that because I am is the most powerful thing. Replace that with good self-talk to yourself have some self-talk to yourself because if you self-talk with yourself using the law of auto suggestion okay one of 13 steps towards riches auto using auto suggestion in your favor you, you mean opt was it um optimism okay optimism enthusiastic okay use especially optimism i remember listening to a podcast episode with dre baldwin he talked about optimism in the face of defeat and all that you still look you're still getting up thinking, thinking positive, thinking, thinking stuff is still gonna still gonna get through. Get through it. There's gonna something's gonna pull on the other side. You know, optimism, fire the old habits, fire the old habits, that stuff that does not serve you, stuff that's holding you back, and you replace them with other habits, good thought habits. Okay, us good thought habits, which you change the neurons. Okay, we think about 12 to 80,000 thoughts per day. Not 80% of them are, are negative, okay? Let's change that. Change it. You can change that. That's most, okay? Let's go ahead and get to point number five. Today's topic, which is you are, you become what you think about. Our decisions and choices design our life. Our decisions and choices create our life that we had at the, pres at the pre um, present moment. All you got to do is make different decisions. Make good decisions. You may say, hey, Jaren, how do I make good decisions? It is a decision. Decision is to cut off. 
It's in your mind. You made that decision and everything. You have choices. You do have choices. Somebody say, oh, it's the choice of illusion, this and that. Hey, man, you do. You do have choices. I remember this book, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. Okay, I believe. Which law was it? Was it the law of giving? I don't remember what law is it, actually. We're going we're to we're be talking about it, though. Um, the, it wasn't the law of giving. Let me check right here in this book. It was the law of, yeah, actually the law of karma and cause and effect, actually. Okay. Whatever cause you have will be effect of it. You know, karma, cause, effect, law, reaping. So they're all the same. What I'm talking about is law works in the mind. It works not just into the mind, but within everything else. You have a choice. You have choices. You know, people have the choice to be a criminal and do some things. People have the choice to not actually go out and work hard, figure out something else. So that way we won't violate the rights to our other fellow men by poisoning our community or taking their money and doing some other shady stuff. We don't need to be doing that. You have a choice. You have a decision to make. Make the, make the right decision. Make the right decision is, I think that's all really up to you, what you truly want. The, the decision is to cut off. I think the Tony Robbins talk about that, to kill, I believe, like the root or origin word of it like that. So our decisions and choices design our life, create our life. If you don't like the way you at right now, you got to change the decisions and you got, is your decision and choice. If you chew, if you're fat, you're overweight, you chew all the eating that you, you chose to be, you chose to eat a whole bunch of food. That's not good for you. You can also make the decision now today is like, you know what? Hey man, I'm not going to be fat. I don't want to be fat anymore. I want to get myself right. I do not, I do not, I do not um, praise um, gluttony. Okay. I don't praise anything like that. You know what I do? I go to the gym workout, no matter how hard it would take, no matter how it is. I will go and get there because you made that decision. Then you got to plant, you know, you go out making the work. Then you got to think like, oh man, this is hard. It ain't working. Hey, it's working. You just got to no give up. Just, not, just don't give up. Okay. Let's go ahead and get to point number six. Today's topic, which is you become what you think about. Point number six, the subconscious mind. Okay. The subconscious mind, you become what you think about. That's what Buddha, your subconscious mind. I mentioned this before, the autopilot. Napoleon Hill talks about it's one of actually another step towards the 13 riches, um, 13 steps towards riches. You can use the subconscious mind in your favor. That's why I talk about the law of all suggestion. Use it in your favor. You can start doing making in habits, making this, uh, making scheduling out, using your subconscious mind that can favor you to serve you instead of use against you. All this stuff, the laws I talk about, it can use against you or for you. It's neither good or bad. It is it, you can you can easily it's nature's laws, universal divine laws. You can either use it for us, which is there for us. All we're doing is resisting, or we can like don't resist and trust the process. I talk about the subconscious mind a lot. Use the subconscious mind in your favor because the subconscious mind is truly what you think about, and the dominant thoughts your mind gets in your subconscious mind is like 90%. 90% of our subconscious mind is what we think about as autopilot. We're not even thinking about it. It just happens until we actually recognize it consciously in our conscious mind, then we're able to change it and we keep doing it over and over, 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 over again. Now it becomes second nature. Lately, I've been waking up at like four, between four to five, four to six, waking up lately. I've been getting good at it, even though sometimes some days I wake up late. I've been getting good at it. But you know what? My subconscious mind is recognizing it because I have made it a habit lately so let's go ahead and recap today's <clears throat> which let me see i mentioned this yeah i mentioned this so today's topic which is you become what you think about remix now uh, if you haven't make sure you go ahead and listen to the old podcast on um, the original so that way you can get some some things some stuff going on <clears throat> and you become what you think about okay you become what you think about that's from a quote from buddha which I also heard, first heard this from Erd nightingale from the strangest secrets Okay, and me saying this is also the same thing as you think, uh, as someone thinks to himself. So as um, so as he, which is Proverbs twenty three seven, and from the book James Allen, as a man think of a man is literally what he thinks. His character being is a complete sum of his own thoughts. Okay, point number one, recap for the recap is the law of attraction. Before law of attraction, you must also know the law of vibration. And the law of attraction is taking action attraction has action in it and you must be you have the be do you also use the be do have principle point number two okay the law of magnetism you are who you want to attract you attract people who you who possesses the same quality you you 
Um, you, who you are is who you attract. If you want, uh, want uh, better people, you become the kind of person who you, who you desire to attract. If you think the people you attract could be better, then it is time for you to improve your, your, um, prove yourself. If you, think you, um, you, if you think your people are negative, you better check your attitude. You will get what, um, what you get determines by what you want, um, by what you want isn't determined by what you uh, is determined by what you are. Okay, point number three, which is taking uh, taking control of your own thoughts. Dominant thoughts of your own mind can take control of your own thoughts. Okay, what you want to plant into your subconscious mind, thoughts, negative thoughts will pop up, but hey, that's normal. Okay, those are the rackets, the monkey, the monkey, the monkey, the monkey all in your ear, okay? And point number four, we uh, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence is, is not an act, but in habits. Okay, we are what we repeatedly do. Take control of your own mind. We come what we think about. Going to point number three is that use the law of our suggestion in the subconscious mind in your favor. Use affirmations and plant it in your mind so that way you can plant the seeds in your mind, positive seeds, so that way you can re take out the weeds and negative thoughts from your mind by killing the ants, automatic negative thoughts. Okay, point number five, our decisions and choices design our life. You can change Decisions, if you don't like the way where you at now, you can make the decision and the choice to make a change right now. You can do that right now. Okay. And make a new new present moment. Bring the future into the present because the present is the gift. Okay. And point number six is subconscious mind. About 80% of the subconscious mind is control is is controlled by the mind. Another 10% is by the conscious mind. And we think about 12 to 8,000 thoughts per day. 80% of those thoughts are negative and we can go ahead and change that because something our mind is something that we can control and we possess take full possession of your own mind you too make sure you go ahead hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell hit the like button give your man's the hbo special subscribe to the podcast go to the comments leave a comment below if you're on the podcast feed rss feed anchor anywhere else make sure you subscribe to the podcast leave your man's a five-star rating and review so that way you can go to the rankings and everything like that as well okay and guess what we're going we ending this now both folks and now we're at where we come from always always create like a god because we are the co-creators of our own reality the master of our fate and the captain on our soul and we are made of the image of God. So go out there and create like a God.